Hey guys, it's Nicola. So this will be the intro for the next two weeks until August the 22nd. I kind of switched it up a little bit. I will be doing a love analysis. Um, it's going to be $20 period. So until August the 27th, I will be doing a love analysis special. Um, $20 per person, no matter if you're single or you have a partner or a potential partner. My PayPal information will be in the description. I'll also put it across the little thing right here so you guys can see that. I'll also put my email so you guys, if you guys want to email me for further information. That's all I got. Fire signs, it's Nicola. So we will be doing this for August 16th. So what do we have for Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising? August 16th, 2018. What do we got for, ooh. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, August 16th, 2018, and 18, 18, <laughs> let's see what we got, mm, something from the past, thinking about the past, coming back from the past, somebody coming back from the past, um, this is a cycle of mental restriction ooh eight all the way across the top so this is definitely a cycle of mental restriction um communication that causes mental restriction communication that causes um anxiety with someone can you bring me some water kit underline energy being the six of cups for some of you guys could be dealing with um children this can be a soulmate um that you're dealing with in a cycle with a soulmate um this is the little eights, 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 all across the middle. Queen of Wands and the subconscious with the Queen of Cups. So this can be someone, this is unconditional love, but there's a lot of stress. No, nah, I don't think it's unconditional love. I'm not saying it's not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying with the Queen of Cups, this can be um, a need for you to kind of make time for someone or someone wants you to make time for them. So either you're requesting that someone makes time for you, either time to communicate with you with the eight of wands under here or time to like work build something with you. You're requesting some type of communication with the queen of wands or you're gonna move. This is what I'm getting. Male or female, even though they're queens, this is male or female. Why is this eight of swords here? Really? Okay. Y'all, I'm sorry. That felt so good. Woo! Let's see why this Eight of Swords is here. Why is this Eight of Swords? We're just going to do all these eights. I need to see what's going on. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Why is this Eight of Swords here? Feeling trapped. Emotionally, you're feeling trapped. Either by lack of communication, feeling trapped by lack of communication. So this, like I said, this can be a cycle. This can be someone that communicates when they desire to and then cuts communication off when they desire to. Um, and you may be at the mercy of this person, but this is about you doing what you know is right. Um, you being like balancing out the situation, cutting whatever does not serve you, being taking the blindfolds off and looking at it for what it truly is. Why is this eight of pentacles here? So this is working, maybe even working to try to fix this. Page of Swords, Three of Swords, I got Four of Swords. So you've been praying to try to fix this. You've been praying to try to remedy this, to alleviate the burdens of the situation. Um, but there may need to be a severance here with the Page of Swords and the Three of Swords. It needs to be a severance. You've been working, working, working in this cycle by yourself. So there needs to be a severance because you're, you're basically right now putting the burdens onto yourself. So let's see why this Eight of Wands is here. Why is this, actually, we're going to do that one last because that's the outcome. Why is this Queen of Cups here? Could be a, a female water sign that we're dealing with. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be emotions. Talk about emotions. It doesn't have to be female. It could be male, female. Um, someone's waking up and realizing that they have some type of emotion. So this can be, if this is... Now, say if this is a woman that we're talking about, she's woken up and realized that she has emotions possibly for someone else with the five of wands in here. Um, waking up, realizing that they need to put an end to something, put an end to some sort of conflict within the situation. So someone wants to put an end. If you're the woman, you want to put an end to the conflict. If you're a man, you want to put it. Either way, go. You want to put an end to the conflict. Um, 
to the other party, male or female. It don't matter male or woman in any situation. Whoever it is wants to speak truth and put into conflict. Maybe even internal conflict. So if you've been conflicted, this is your partner though. They've been inflicted internally about um, transforming or some type of transformation happening within their life. So there's a need for them to speak. And if you're wondering if this person loves you, if they realize they love you, yeah, they realize they love you. Because as we see an actualization of love that changes a situation. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Why is this Queen of Wands here? Okay, so you've been trying to work, build, um, remedy this cooperation, but you're feeling alone. You're feeling like it's not balanced. So you may be ready to leave because you want something more balanced. You want a foundation that you can really build toward, that you can really work for. Some of you guys are um, needing with this Queen of Wands to embody the energy of it I'm getting for some of you guys, especially with the Five of Pentacles, someone who's feeling lack. The Queen of Wands is very motivated to go after what she desires. So I think to balance this situation out, you need to embody that energy and go after what you want. Speak your truths. Why is this Eight of Wands here? Ah, let's see. We finally get to it. Why is this Eight of Wands here? Move. Listen. <laughs> this is moving toward communicating. Moving toward. Um, this can be for my Leos. This can be for any of my fire signs. I did get the Leo here, the strength card. But the underlying energy is love, a relationship, um, something new emotionally. You're protecting this relationship because this queen of wands here, she's protecting her egg. She's protecting what she's put in. This is a very nurturing queen here, but she's also very passionate. So she will strike you when it comes to her foundation. And this is your foundation, whether it be love, job, whatever. You're overcoming this feeling of lack finding the courage in you to balance out this situation. And you're going to communicate this because you are very confident that you deserve what you're asking for. Okay, so let's pick these up and let's see what we got. Y'all, I'm sorry I look like this. I probably said it again, but I just had a rough day um, today. So my eyes are swollen from crying, but I am okay. Just, you know, mommy stuff. <laughs> so let's see what messages mm, we got for her. My fire signs. Got be strong. It says you are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures you have the outcome. What other messages do we have? Sagittarius, everything else. I'm rising. We got bright future. It says stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. We also got the art. So this does talk about expressing yourself. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with the people that you're dealing with. No one knows what you want unless you communicate it to them. So you really got to be honest and open with your communication. Y'all know what to do. Talk to your mate like you talk to other people. All right, fire signs? Because y'all know when it comes to people that are not emotionally connected to y'all, to y'all, y'all going to speak y'all truth. So talk to your mates like that as well. Let them know because they still are other people, even though there's an emotional connection. With blossoming says you are just getting started. So have patience with yourself, the process, and do not give up. All I got, y'all. Peace.